Okay, hello everyone. So today I've got a comparison of the peptides. I've got the Good Molecule Super Peptide Serum versus the Ordinary Buffet, which is a peptide serum. I've got the Skin Care Revolution uh, Multi-Targeting and Firming Serum, Multi-Peptide Serum, and the Inky List Heptapeptide Anti-Aging Serum. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase all these products with my own money. I will never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com or click on the Amazon link below. So this is something I've been working on for longer than I want to admit. I've been working on this one for quite some time, kind of comparing them all, trying them all. And one of these serums has pulled ahead as the clear winner. So let me get to the categories. Okay. My first category up is packaging. As you can see, these three are all dropper bottles. The Inky List uses a pump bottle, and it's definitely my preference. Dropper bottles are so annoying. Although the fact that Skincare Revolution uses a little gold band around there makes me find them a little easier than the ordinary. So for packaging, the Inky List gets a point. The other three do not. Although there's certainly nothing wrong with a dropper bottle. That's what a lot of people are using these days. Although they do annoy me, they're impossible to find in a, in a cabinet of dozens of them. Okay, in terms of denatured or drying types of alcohol, there's good ones that are fatty alcohols, and there's the denatured drying types of alcohol, which are not great for skin, especially if they're in higher amounts. Um, so for good molecules, there's no denatured or drying types of alcohol in that. The ordinary is no denatured types of alcohol. The Skin Care Revolution, no denatured drying types of alcohol. The Inky List does have benzyl alcohol, which for the most part is typically used as a preservative. And in terms of preservatives, it's one of the least irritating ones. However, it also has a bit of, it's more of an aromatic alcohol, which also can be used for fragrance. And it can be sometimes uncommonly a cause of uh, dermatitis or irritation. So... Overall, for alcohol, I gave the other three brands a point, and the Inky List does not have a point. So, currently, they're all tied up now. For fragrance, the Good Molecules has a small amount of bergamot oil, which is an essential oil used for fragrance. So, usually not best for sensitive skin. Uh, and then... The Ordinary, no fragrance. The Skin Care Evolution, fragrance-free, although some of their other products do have fragrance in them. And then the Inky List has that benzyl alcohol, which is an aromatic alcohol. However, the scent is so light it's not noticeable, really. But overall, uh, it still can be a bit of an issue. So for fragrance, The Ordinary gets a point, and Skin Care Evolution gets a point, and these two do not. So, the Ordinary and Skin Care Revolution are pulling ahead with two points each. Uh, the Inky List and Good Molecules each have one point. Manufacturing location, uh, Good Molecules Korea, the Ordinary is Canada, Skin Care Revolution is the UK, and the Inky List is Canada, so I have no issues with that, so I gave everyone a point. No issues at all with the manufacturing location. Ease of use, I'm going to pH test them all. Uh, personally... They all work pretty well in a skincare routine. They all tend to play pretty good with other products. The Skincare Evolution one can be a little bit tricky to layer and can pill just a little bit uh, from time to time. But overall, for the most part, they all pretty much play well with other products and layer well in a routine. The Inky List one is a little bit more of a gel texture. And the other ones have a bit more of a liquid texture. So let me pH test uh, the Good Molecules one first. I know you guys love pH tests. And I love pH testing. It's always interesting. You just, you never know. Everything can be very surprising. So let me do this. Okay. So Good Molecules, the pH of this one is about a 5. And for peptides, there's really no necessary constraints on pH. Like with uh, alpha hydroxy and beta hydroxy acids, you really want those in between a 3 and a 4 to be effective. Uh, vitamin C's got restraints. And then for peptides, there's really no restraints that necessarily has to be within a number to be effective. So uh, then you're really just looking for something that's close to skin's natural pH. So this one is about a 5. Okay, let me do the ordinary pH test this one. Okay. 
Sometimes they'll surprise you. You just never know. <clears throat> okay. So the ordinary. This one is looking to be a, between a four and a five. I would say about four point five. It's right in there. So, so four point five for that. Okay, let's do the skincare revolution serum next with the beautiful rose gold around the dropper, which helps me find it easier. Okay. Skincare Evolution one is looking to be, I would say, probably maybe like a 5.3. It's pretty close to, pretty close to five, but still a little bit in there. So I would say 5.34. Kind of like pi is 3.6, 3.14, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And the Inky List Serum. And this one is, hang on, there's a little bit of clump. Okay. And we got this one in. And this one is looking to be closer to a six, maybe... Maybe like 5.71. It's closer to the 6 than the 5. Okay. So they're all within a good margin. They're all, all of the ordinary is a little bit more acidic than I thought it would be. But overall, no issues at all with the pH. I know you guys just love to know. So, okay. So for ease of use, I gave them all a point because they're all pretty easy to use. Okay. Let's get to beneficial ingredients, the fun stuff that I like talking about the most. So Good Molecules has two peptides, a couple of antioxidants, a lot of hydrating and slip ingredients, and then sodium hyaluronate's in there. So they've got some good stuff in there. The Ordinary, we've got five peptides. We've got multiple amino acids in here. Sodium hyaluronate's in there. And then we've got Matrixyl and Argolog, Argon, Argonine, which are, they have two other serums, which are just uh, two separate peptides mm -hmm. that they've chosen to focus on. Yeah. So... You can uh, check those ones out. And they also have their copper peptide serum as well, which I love. So they've got other options, but the buffet does a good job of combining a good amount of them. If you don't want to pick up the specific serums, no issues all with that. So they've got a really good, healthy mix of good ingredients. The Skincare Revolution has the shortest ingredient list of all of these. And the peptides are at the very end of the ingredient list. So if you have maybe more sensitive skin and a shorter ingredient list is better for some people with sensitive skin or allergies to a lot of specific ingredients, then a shorter ingredient list will probably be what you're looking for. And the Skin Care Revolution has the shortest list. They also have another serum, their Copper Peptide Serum as well, uh, which I'll have to review soon. So that is the uh, Skin Care Revolution. The Inky List, so the preservatives are right up there in the front of the ingredient list for this one. Uh, and then it's got squalane and a peptide in there, the heptapeptide, that is the name. So taking out all of the beneficial ingredients from these and kind of analyzing them, in my opinion, the Ordinary has the most robust formula with the most ingredients, with the most beneficial ingredients. Although that's not necessarily always what somebody's looking for. Maybe a shorter ingredient list is good, or maybe something that's a little bit thicker and focusing on one peptide that maybe you're a big fan of or notice it works just great with your skin might be what you're looking for. So just depends on the person, but overall for a cumulative beneficial ingredient list, I gave this point to the ordinary and they are pulling ahead. In terms of acneogenic ingredients, let's get to that fun fact. Okay, Good Molecules has butylene glycol, glycerate 25, PCA isosterate and then sorbidin isosterate. So it's got a few acneogenic ingredients. The ordinary has butylene glycol, polysorbate 20, and castor oil. So if you know if castor oil is maybe a specific trigger for you, then it might be one you want to avoid. Uh, the skincare evolution has butylene gly glycol and polysorbate 20. So it's only got two. So if that's a main concern of yours, then perhaps the skincare evolution is the one you should go with. And then the Inky List has hydrogenated polyisobutene, squalane, polysorbate 60, and sorbidin isosterate. So it's got the most uh, acneogenic ingredients in it. None of these are fungal acne safe. 
So if that's an issue to you, you're going to probably have to continue to shop. So out of all of these, I gave the point to Skincare Evolution. They only had two potentially ingredients of issues, so take note of that. In terms of cruelty-free, all four of these brands are cruelty-free, so that's always awesome. Love that. I think that's the first time I've done a versus where they've all been cruelty-free. Well, maybe this, anyway. So that's always a good thing. They all get a point for that. Performance. All do a nice job hydrating the skin and seem to play well with other products. I would say that the product I noticed the most uh, effect with and the most uh, reduction in fine lines and wrinkles and hydration would be the ordinary, hands down. That one made the biggest difference in my skin out of any of these that I've tried. And, uh, you know, a lot of that's just kind of, uh, kind of, you know, up to my opinion, but I think the ordinary worked the best out of all of them. So that would be my point. So that one goes to the ordinary price. So this one did surprise me because when the buffet came out, I thought it was like six bucks. So the good molecules, these are all one ounces. The good molecules is 12. The ordinary is $14.80. I thought it was like six bucks when it came out. Correct me or let me know. Skincare Revolution was 12 and the Inculus was the most expensive at 15. So overall, the prices for the good molecules and Skincare Revolution are both $12, which is the cheapest. So they both got the point. And then in terms of the it factor, you know, I like the ordinary one. It's the most expensive out of them all but it still has the most robust formula in terms of beneficial ingredients. Uh, it's got a lot of good peptides in there. It certainly made a big difference for fine lines and wrinkles. Affordable, fragrance and alcohol-free, cruelty-free, uh, relatively few acneogenic ingredients. So overall, the total final score is good molecules with five. The Ordinary has eight. Skincare Evolution had seven. And the Inculist had four. So... They're, they're all good options. It just depends on what your biggest issues are. If you want a lot of peptides and you don't have any other issues with acneogenic ingredients, then certainly go for it. If you want a short ingredient list, Skincare Evolution's good. If you want one that's well packaged because you take forever to use one, the Inculist is great for that. So uh, certainly lots of good options out there. Had a lot of fun doing this one. And uh, anyway, so I'm looking forward to comparing these four brands again because they all offer similar products but they all have a little bit differences in them so that's kind of what makes it fun so anyway i'm interested in hearing from you guys what if you have tried these and what your favorite is or if one of these is a clear winner to you and you disagree with the ordinary certainly leave a comment i always love hearing from you guys uh, stay tuned for more tomorrow and thank you so much